Hi and welcome students. Today's tutorial will cover Microsoft Word 2016. This tutorial is going to teach you how to format text. I'm going to give you a lot of tips and tricks and shortcuts along the way, so let's go ahead and get started. So first thing that you should see here is this is my Microsoft Word document. As you can see, this Word document is not formatted very well at this point. So if I'm going to make any formatting changes, the first thing that I want to do is go to the Home tab, then in the paragraph group, I go right here to this button. You can see this button right here. It says slow sh sl show slash hide when you hover over it. These are called your formatting marks. Go ahead and click that and you'll notice that a bunch of formatting marks will appear on your page or on your document that you're looking at. Now, this document here, you'll see that all these little symbols pop up. Now, these symbols do not get printed, but they're called formatting marks. And I'm going to zoom in by holding Control on my keyboard. The Control button is usually located in the bottom left. And then scrolling up on the wheel of my mouse. So right in between the left click and the right click, you just scroll up on the wheel. And you'll see that it'll zoom you in on your page. All right. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to uh, show you a trick right now and let's say I want to edit this word auditions. You can either choose to click and drag from the beginning of the word through the end including the paragraph marker or you could click at the end of the word and drag through the beginning. Okay. Now another way to select individual words, uh, let's say I wanted to select the word April that you can see right here. I could double click that word and it'll double double click it. Or if I want to select a whole paragraph, I could actually triple click and that'll select the entire paragraph. Since the word auditions is its own paragraph, we could tell because there's a paragraph symbol before it and a paragraph symbol after. Since it's its own paragraph, I could triple click it and it's going to select the whole paragraph here. Now, let's say that auditions is one of the main points to our par uh, to our page here. Well, I want to make this all in uppercase. So what most people do is they press backspace or delete and then they turn on caps lock and type the whole thing out over again. There's actually a trick in Microsoft Word in your home tab, your font group, and it's this uppercase A and a lowercase A. And it says change case. Change the selected text to uppercase, lowercase, or common capitalizations. Well, I could click right there, and now I can make this all uppercase by clicking right here on uppercase. All right, so you'll notice that a lot of what we're going to do on this tutorial deals with the home tab and the font group. The font group is how we format our text. The paragraph group right next to it is how we format the text that's within the paragraph. Okay, so we'll mostly be using these two groups right here. All right, so we see that we want to change our font size to size 36 now. I'm going to go to the home tab again the font group and we see that this says 28. I'm going to click the little arrow that's the drop down arrow next to the font size and I'm going to hover over 36 and then I'm going to click on 36. You'll notice that as you hover over everything it'll change the size as you look at it. Alright so you'll notice that auditions is appearing on the left side of our page right now. Let's say I want to put it into the center of the page. Well the way that I do that is by centering the paragraph. That's in our home tab paragraph group this time because it's a paragraph setting and it's this button right here. Now you'll notice when I hover over it it'll say center and then in parentheses it says control plus E. That lets me know that there's a shortcut to basically do control on my keyboard and then E on my keyboard and uh, you, you do hold control while you press E and that's going to move it right to the center and now we see center is now highlighted. So that's another shortcut for us. All right, so that looks good. Now, you may have noticed in the paragraph below, it says Monday, April 2nd at 6 p.m. and Thursday, April 5th at 6 p.m. Well, the text April 5th is not bold and the text for April 2nd is bold. Well, to keep consistency, I definitely want to bold it. Bolding is uh, in the home tab, the font group, and it's B right here, make your text bold, uh, which will thicken the text uh, after you click that. And then in the parentheses, it says Control plus B. So I'm going to hold down Control and press B to uh, make it in bold. All right. So that will emphasize uh, that it'll uh, begin with, or that that date is also a date as well. So we bold that April 5th date, and then uh, we're ready to move on to some more. All right. So you'll see right here it says uh, actors, singers, and dancers. Please refer. To the audition or to the audition okay and as you see that let's put the phrase as follows at the end so what a lot of people do is they click at the end and then they start to type as follows but that's not correct it's supposed to go right after the word audition 
So you click right after audition, in between audition and the colon. Then you press a space, and then you type in as follows. All right, now anytime that you have a list, okay, and the list could be right here with adult singers, adult dancers, and youth and dance, or uh, youth singers and dancers. Um, so every time you have a list, it's a good idea to create uh, a bullets on that list. And so I'm going to show you how to create bullets. This is more of a paragraph setting, uh, but you can create bullets and create a list pretty easily. The first thing that you need to do is select all of the text that you want to be in your bulleted list. All right. So that's going to be from right here, which is adult singers, all the way down through the end of the paragraph on youth singers and dancers. Remember, if you click at the beginning and drag all the way through, you're going to want to include that last little paragraph marker. So again, show hide is this button up here, and that allowed us to see these paragraph marks. And so we now have our three paragraphs selected. Now we're going to insert a bulleted list. So let's go to the home tab, the paragraph group, and I'm going to click this button right here, bullets, and it says create a bulleted list. And so I can click right there, and there we go. Now notice what happened. It added in the three bullets, and it also indented out the bullets just a little bit. That way we can clearly see a difference between our regular body text, where actors is listed, and then where our bullets begin, where adult singers is listed. All right, so the next step I'm gonna go over is how to change your font size in Microsoft Word 2016. Well, you just go to the Home tab, and again, the font group is where you do it. And we're currently on Calibri as our font, but let's say we wanna change it to Cambria. Well. All we have to do is click right here where it says Calibri and you'll notice that when you click it one time it's going to appear in blue and it's highlighted. Anytime you see that blue highlight in Windows 10 or on Microsoft Office that means that you could just start to type and it'll delete what's there and it'll add in uh, whatever you type. So I'm going to start to type C-A-M and there we see Cambria appears. So Cambria is the listed text. To finalize that text we press enter and you'll notice the text changed when I did that. So again, you wait for the, you click in it once and then you start to type. All right, so now let's change the font color. That's in the home tab, the font group, and you'll see this button right here. It says font color and it's an A and then it'll have a, a bar underneath it and usually that bar is red. That's the default color to change it to. Now I don't want to change it to red, so instead of clicking on that button, I click the little arrow next to that button. I find that I click this little arrow about 90% of the time compared to actually clicking the A with the bar under it. Now here we go. I, I click on this little arrow and now I'm going to find uh, a color that I like. In this case uh, it's going to be one of our theme colors. So we've set up a theme in this document and now I'm ready to choose a theme color. In this case in the fifth column the fifth color down. Uh, I'm going to choose this one right here. Green, accent one, darker 25%. So I'm going to want darker text on a white background or lighter text on a dark background. So there we go. I click that and we see it changes the font color. All right. So next thing I want to do is I'm going to take a look at this document here and it says, uh, well, I basically want to italicize some text. All right. Well, let's see. Italicizing will bring more information to uh, that text right there. So well, I'm going to do right here, let's say this one that says adult dancers and then it says tap dancing is encouraged for the short dance. All right. Well, right there it says tap dancing is encouraged. I'm going to highlight that as a main point for my document. So to do that, I go to the home tab, font group, and first I again highlight those words. And then I go right there to the I, it's right next to B, and that stands for italics or italicize. So I click right there, or you guys can see right there, it says in parentheses, control I. And so that will make whatever I have highlighted into italics. All right. Now let's say that I want to delete text. I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's say I want to delete accompanist provided. Okay, right here, let's say the accompanist is no longer provided. I first highlight that text and then I press delete on my keyboard. Okay. Now notice when I press delete, it moved the other bullet up. Okay. So I'm going to undo that change by doing a control Z. Okay. Um, and so if I wanted to just delete that text, I could click at the end and I could just press backspace through it, or you could highlight it and then press enter. So either way works. Um, but yeah, uh, that's how you delete text. 
All right, so now I'm going to show you how to do a uh, text outline effect, okay? And so right down here we have a website, okay? And so we have a website right down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply an outline text effect uh, to this website right here and to the phone number, all right? Well, to select multiple sections in Microsoft Word of text, first I have to highlight the first section that I want, which is right here. And then I have to hold down the control button on my keyboard and highlight the next section that I want. Again, by clicking and dragging. Okay, so that's how we select multiple sections. All right, now what we're going to do at this point is we're going to basically apply paragraph shading and paragraph outlining. Well, in our, or font shading and font outlining even. Uh, well, let's go to the home tab and to the font group and check out these three buttons right here. This says text effects and topography. If I click that, check this out. It has a bunch of different options including outline, okay? Now under outline here, I could choose basically any color that I want. In this case, I'm gonna choose lime accent three, okay? That's this one right here. So I attach the outline to it and you now see that the text is still black but the outline is in that lime color. Okay, so there we go, that looks good. And I could even apply uh, this button right here for shading to the actual words. You guys can see that right there, so that's how you apply a highlight. I'm not gonna do that because it'll look strange on this document, but that's basically how you uh, format your text in Microsoft Word. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up uh, and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. And as always, if you have a video request, please put it into the comment section and I'll make sure to respond to you. Thank you.